Today we've got the TA167 2000 amp clamp. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of how you can turn it on in two different ways. One, it will turn off automatically after about 10 minutes. But the other way is you can turn it on and it will remain on if you don't want it to shut off automatically. First way here is turn it on. Turn the power switch on, you have a little green LED. And that will indicate that the amp clamp will shut off after about 10 minutes. However, if you switch it on, or switch it off, and then hold the zero button, turn it back on, a red LED will appear. That indicates that the amp clamp will stay on until you turn it off. This is a good way if you're going to do an extended test, but if you don't need it, I would recommend using just the first way to switch it on with the green LED so you don't run the batteries down whenever you forget to switch it off. Here I've got a capture showing all three available automotive high amp clamps from Pico. The red trace is the new 2000 amp clamp from the Advanced and Diesel kits. The green trace is the 600 amp clamp in the Advanced and Standard kits. The yellow trace is the old 2000 amp clamp from the Diesel kits. You can see that the new and the old 2000 amp clamps show less noise than the 600 amp clamp. What the new 2000 amp clamp does better than the old 2000 amp clamp is the operating in the lower range. Here I've got coil primary from an old rabbit. The green trace is the standard 60 amp clamp in 20 amp mode. The red trace is with the new 2000 amp clamp in 200 amp mode. The yellow trace is with the old 2000 amp clamp in 200 amp mode. At this range the old 2000 amp clamp is quite useless. However, the new 2000 amp clamp is still useful. Here I've zoomed into the coil cutoff section to show just how similar the 60 amp clamp and the 2000 amp clamp are. There's still very good detail on this 2000 amp clamp even at this 3 amp or so capture. The TA167 will easily eliminate the need for the old 2000 amp clamp, the standard 600 amp clamp, and in some cases even the 60 amp clamp. Not only is the shielding better in the new clamp, but the smaller jaw size allows you to get a better capture with small gauge wire, as well as get around several battery size leads at once. And with the auto off feature, you won't have to worry as much about forgetting to shut the thing off. Thank you for watching.